Today we're going to cover the Elite BBs and the two I most want to focus in on, we have some more in the back, are the Marksmans and the Avanti. So that's Daisy and I just finally got hold of some of these. Uh, they can be kind of tough to get hold of. I think it's mostly because the uh, $4.99 shooters uh, eat, gobble these up. But okay, now here's a story real quick. I was planning to do a video on Marksman and Avanti versus lead balls because I thought they'd be roughly equal. Didn't work out like that, got a little more complicated. So we're just gonna do a video on BBs, mostly focusing on Marksman and Avanti. And um, so here is the story then. So I bought these thinking that they would perform well in this 1999. And what happened is this gun has been a challenge for me to get accuracy out of. Okay, I'll just put it right there. And uh, buyers of the newer run that are camo have camo stocks on them. They say their their guns are shooting fine. This one has been a problem. I just haven't been able to get accuracy. It gets it was getting outshot by all my other spring guns. So the first time in another video, I brought up the marksmans and they gave me good accuracy. But I was um, how would you say it? I was shocked a little bit by the the price. But seven bucks for a thousand. I mean, pellets are a lot more expensive than that. And for a great BB, these big, big cannonballs are 176. They're big, they're smooth, they shoot really well, they hit hard. Seven bucks for a thousand is not that bad. This are seven dollars for a thousand also. And the difference is they just have different strengths. So in this gun, I tried the Avanti, and even though it is Daisy, it didn't didn't help the gun the accuracy the bad accuracy came back they were fast but it didn't help the gun a lot like the black diamond back here the avante just just couldn't didn't help me here so now here's what i want to quote now a veteran 499 shooter said that these are great in a good bb gun a good bb gun will become a great bb gun a great bb gun will be superb like the 499 and so I'm just saying right now, this for seven bucks, if you got a problem gun, like I basically do with this one, and I don't know why it's why it's that way, but it, with the Marksman's, it's now, as I've said recently, good, really good up to 15 yards, my best 20 yard shooter as far as this gun, this type, Red Rider type. So imagine a pop can at 20 yards, and I'm able to put the front sight right under here and it hits up here and that's good for anybody that's been trying to shoot a gun like this at 20 yards the fact that i can put the front sight right under the can and it hits here gets really good lift with these big balls and they're the most accurate gun or that is they make this the most accurate gun and a gun that had no accuracy starts shooting really well at those marksmans also my buck which is my old enhancements on this channel modification means re-engineering the gun i didn't do that metal lever red rider stock and this, just by, this is how stubby the little barrel is on this. It's about 8 inches. I couldn't get any good accuracy with this really either. With the Super Buck, I would basically 12 to 8 yards. And then I started running Marksman's through here. And that opened up to 15 yards with a lot more hits. 13 yards looked really good. And 15 yards, I was finally getting hits. Um, so for the most improved actually is the Super Buck as far as what it what it can do downrange. It literally, and most people would tell you, it's about a 12 to 8 yard gun. Uh, I love shooting it standing, so offhand. And with the Marksman's, which is what I have loaded in there now, that's the only thing I'll put in this one. With the Marksman's, I opened it up to 15 yards with a lot better accuracy. Now, as far as a good BB gun, I mean, a, a more exceptional BB gun, like the single pumps, longer uh, barrels, better triggers, this is also loaded up with Marksman's. Now here's where it gets interesting. So you may ask, okay, how does it perform in the single pump, which is a better BB platform? Okay, so here's the thing. It's basically a dead heat for accuracy. These hit harder, these are faster. Okay, faster, hit harder. And so in a great BB gun, like I consider that Boy Scout for the price and the Grizzly, which is, you know, a really fine BB gun, um, these same thing. These are faster, these hit harder. So uh, as far as, you know, spending the money on BBs like this, I did originally get uh, sticker shock, but really the accuracy you get is so really magical and it brings out the best. You just need to remember for a good pellet, $7 for a thousand is simply not going to happen. Now, are they going to give you pellet gun accuracy? No, 
But so anyway, so I, I felt I'd better do a video on this because this costs seven dollars too. And you would think because it's Daisy, it's going to do the best. Let's say in a problem gun like I have here, my unit at least was just not just not accurate. Simply was getting even outshot by my buck. So I would say for your gun, if you have a gun challenge for accuracy, like the 1999 I have and the buck, just because of that short barrel, go with Marksman's. It's worth it. Uh, the buck was actually the most improved. The 19, or that is the Avanti. If you have a good BB gun, I agree with the 499 shooter. If you have a good BB gun, like a single pump or 499, this will just make it better. And they're fast. So please keep that in mind. This is for very good BB guns and it makes them better. And I've tested enough to see that. And these gold, gold BBs, like 18 karat gold performance, they will take problem children like this and make them superstars they will bring their full potential out and you'll get better accuracy no other bb does that in my buck or my 1999 only the marksmans bring that out as far as other bbs back here to close out the video uh, the black widows i thought i saw some early results in my 1999 it just well it'd be respectful of crossman it just didn't hold up though it's, it's not the bbs and so i took them really literally out of the gun and put them back in here and used them in pump guns they're really good in pump guns and a few other guns the crossman elite bbs uh the umarex also just did not help these guns enough and the black diamonds i like for a few guns they're very fast but uh, they come in a little small and i can tell you that uh, that didn't help with these two guns so please consider getting the marksman's seven bucks and if you want more speed and you have a good BB gun and you feel it's good, whether it's the camel version of the 1999 or what have you, try the Avante if you know your gun's already good and it doesn't have any problems. Okay, thank you. And I just thought I'd bring that to you. I thought it was important because they both cost seven bucks and they both have different strengths. Okay, thank you.